All right, this video I'm making for me to get the information out to you because I find it cool. It might be a little less interesting for some of you, but if you have a D75 or are interested in picking up a D75, you might know that the iPhone does not want to Bluetooth with this. Well, I have the solution. This is the BB Link dongle. This connects to your iPhone over USB-C, USB-C required, and this solves the problem, solves all the problems. Right up front, this is $70. If you have an iPhone, it's the only way to Bluetooth into it. To the D75 if you wanna do packet or access that TNC that's on board. Let's hop over to the workbench. I'll show you how it works, and I promise you right up front, this is one of the most easy, straightforward things you will have to do, assuming you're using the Radio Mail app. All right, so the BB Link is just this little dongle with the two Bs on it. Comes with the lanyard. I added my own little charm there so i'm using the bb link configurator it is an iphone app there is a qr code that comes with the bb link when you buy one in the little packaging but you can look on the app store as well to find it i have this plugged in i hit the refresh button and it's showing a bb link here so i'm going to click on that it's going to ask me do i want to connect and the answer is yes i want to connect now when it does that it's going to think for a second okay so the, really the only step you have to do initially is to pair a radio. So if I click pair radio, I have to then go into my radio and make it discoverable by turning on pairing. And so starting from the D75's base menu, base screen, I'm gonna hit the menu button. I'm gonna go over to the gear for configuration. I'm gonna go to Bluetooth, which is 9.3, and then I'm gonna hit pairing mode to make it discoverable. Now it's in pairing mode right now. The radio is saying, hi, here I am. I'm gonna hit okay back on the application. It's gonna think for a second and they should find each other. And there it is, I found it. So then I'm gonna say, okay, confirm. I will confirm first on the radio, hit okay. Pair is complete. Then go back to the, the device, the application, hit pair. I am now done, it is paired. Now to demonstrate that, let's bring up radio mail. And I think I have some mail actually that I need to send, I think somewhere, but that's okay. We'll just go to one of my local stations here. So let me go to favorites and we're gonna go to this guy. He is seven miles away on packet. So let's go ahead and hit connect. It's changed the radio over to kiss. It should change the frequency and we might have to give it a little hand at that. It didn't change the frequency. That's okay. So let's go ahead and stop that. Um, let's go to, let's let, make it the lower one. Now I've gone A, B, I've gone back to A here. Let's do that again and see if it picks it up automatically. There it goes. Now it changed the frequency. And there we go. Now I will, while we're waiting for this to do its thing, I do want to make a note that the issue wasn't with the D75, why iPhones didn't work. The issue was always with the iPhone. It treats low energy Bluetooth as just that. It wants it to be real light data passing. Unfortunately, if you're gonna do WinLink and other things like that and pack it, you need to push more data. And so you needed a standalone Bluetooth adapter to do that. And that's what BB Link does, is it solves the issue that the iPhone wants it to be a light BLE type device. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna go back into mail. We're gonna hit the local WinLink node. It should switch. All right, trying a different station because the first one didn't work out. Okay, let's go ahead and give that another shot. Reloads KISS, goes to 190. And there we go. Welcome to W6HBR Windling Gateway. This is the Huntington Beach Racies Gateway. Look how fast it goes. If you're normally doing WinLink over HF, you're like looking at this going, oh my goodness, is that for real? And sure enough, yeah, look at it go.
Now, I will mention the reason why that first station didn't work is it apparently wasn't replying back correctly. But once I switched it over to HBR, it picked it right up in a snap. So that's it. We're done. So if I go back here, OK, go to close, inbox, wrong one, inbox. And there's my, there's my emails. Excellent. And yeah, there you go. There's my emails that I just picked up. So I can reply to these real quickly and then blast off a reply email. Good to go. So for me personally, now with the uh, with the BB Link and the DigiRig Lite, I have in my arsenal my my VHF UHF little go bag accessory type thing. I have a way of doing Vara and packet with the 75 on a phone, a laptop, whatever I want to do now, which is just just awesome. Just between these two little things that you can have in every little kit, I'm I'm good to go, which is just so so cool. So follow the link in the description. It will take you to the website to purchase the BB link. I'm not affiliated with this, but I will tell you that this was sent to me for free. And yes, it was created by the same individual who creates radio mail. So they interface perfectly. If this sounds like something you're interested in, well, then you're probably already clicking the links in the description or already have bought it because it's in stock right now as of the posting of this video, which boy howdy it's not gonna last long so again this is just a video to get the information out there it's not for everybody but i super super love this bb link 73 from me josh ki6naz